Good Thursday evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're staying warm. It looks like below normal temperatures as far as low temperatures expected the next seven days. Friday and Saturday morning could be about 10 degrees below normal. We'll moderate a bit ahead of a front coming up on Sunday. But after that front, cooler weather expected Tuesday morning before we start moderating those low temperatures again. That's low temperatures every day below normal anywhere from about 3 to about 12 degrees below normal the next seven days. As far as high temperatures, below normal temperatures expected Friday by about 9 degrees. Sunday will get closer to normal, maybe just a little bit below normal before that front comes through, then below normal temperatures again, and then we'll start moderating in temperatures as we head towards the middle to latter part of next week. But most of the time, the next uh, five to six days are going to be low, below normal as far as high temperatures. This is pretty amazing. Look at post-tropical storm Zeta moving off the mid-Atlantic coastline. At times, it's been moving at 50 to 55 miles an hour. That's not just the winds. The winds in the storm are at 50, but it's been moving to the east-northeast at 55 miles an hour. It's been embedded within the uh, jet, and that is kicking it on out into the western Atlantic. So see that. Goodbye. Otherwise, in the uh, tropical Atlantic, now entering the Caribbean, we're watching another tropical wave, which is uh, showing signs of development, has a 60% probability that's a moderate chance of developing over the next five days, could become Ada as it moves west. High confidence that this will move west. What does it do when it gets into the western Caribbean? Probably will go west, some modeling taking it towards Florida. Very early right now, we need to watch this. As long as we continue to get these cold fronts in, I feel much better as far as the northwest Gulf of Mexico goes. This evening, we're expecting maybe a patch of cloud cover to push on through, but it'll be transitory. It means uh, by late tonight, the sky should return to clear skies and temperatures will fall back into the 40s across southeast Texas. So you'll need jackets and coats in the morning. Tomorrow should be gorgeous with lots of sun, high temperatures rising. Uh, very mild into the mid to upper 60s across southeast Texas. A fantastic night for Friday night football. Expected temperatures uh, into the upper 50s falling to the lower 50s by the end of the game tomorrow night. Slightly choppy on the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow. Small craft advisory currently in effect, but things should be winding down. And by tomorrow, seas will be 1 to 3 feet with a northeast wind at 15 to 20 knots. Our forecast tonight, we'll call it partly cloudy uh, with chilly temperatures. It'll be dry as low temperatures drop into the mid to upper 40s across the board. That's again about 9 degrees below normal. Then for tomorrow, about 9 degrees below normal, as highs will be in the mid to upper 60s. Extended forecast, Saturday looks like a chilly morning and a mild afternoon. And as we take a look at the Halloween forecast, looking like it'll be around 70 at 5 p.m., falling into the mid 50s by 9 p.m., It'll be dry. Cold front, let's back up. Sunday morning at, what, 2 a.m., back up one hour, fall back one hour. Daylight saving time ends. Cold front comes in Sunday evening. No rain expected with it, but that means back down to chilly temperatures coming up uh, for Monday and Tuesday morning. Look at Tuesday morning, 42 degrees. Could be closer to 40 up in the lakes area. Then things start moderating. We'll see an increase in cloud cover as southeast winds return Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.